Our team is a little bit like a think tank within the investment partners that what we do is we look at the environmental, social and governance risks and impacts of the companies we invest in. So this is where I am where the link is with this conference because obviously one of the sectors we invest in right. is uh, agriculture and actually the, the entire food um, value chain. Yes, so we've done um, several pieces of work. So on one hand, uh, what we've done is uh, examined very much in detail the supply chain management and how they manage environmental social aspects within supply chains. We use what we call a three-step analysis. So first of all, what we look at is how well they manage the supply chain. And this is very much to what extent they know the supply chains. Are they able to control it? Because you do need to know your supply chains to control it in order to be able to manage it. So what we're looking at is to what extent not only, yes, they are aware of how, who are the suppliers and how the supply chain works, but also they have made the necessary investments to monitor, to identify, particularly most of those investments are on IT. So they're able, at the end of the day, what we look at is, are they able to trace the goods they source? Once we know how well they manage the supply chain, what we're going to look at it is actually what sort of, um, to what extent they include environmental and social issues within the requirements that uh, the requirements, the criteria to source, either if it's on the open market or if it is to directly suppliers. And then what type of management systems by that, I mean that how they manage those relationships, whether or not they conduct audits themselves or third party, they go through certification, etc. So when examining basically uh, the top 100 world companies, um, the top world companies, uh, food companies, sorry, distributors, as I said, retailers and restaurants, then the biggest food producers and the biggest traders that they are listed. We found out, like just to give an example in terms of labor issues, we found out that 75% of the companies have scored less than 30, um, which is really, really poor. Only, you know, once you, you leave the top 20, then all of a sudden the scores start to fall off rapidly very, very poor, there are issues like living wage that was only addressed by nine companies and then you realize that only um, 17 percent, 17, yeah, percent of the companies actually go beyond first tier suppliers. So you can start imagining, you know, what uh, is the dimensions of the problem we are dealing with. In most of the cases we go, we reach other investors so we can leverage, we have a uh, bigger leverage and then we meet with the companies and then we bring about our concerns and we try to yes accompany the company so they can improve. Um, we might go as far as using our voting rights you know to pressure companies and of course we also uh, engage with other investors I mean sorry with other stakeholders um, lastly I wanted I want to say that those companies that perform more that perform really poorly in terms of the environmental and social uh, performance we might exclude them from our investments <laughs>